Hi everyone, my name is Travis, a Teen Services Librarian at the headquarters location of the Spartanburg County Public Libraries. In this video, we're going to explore the art of ink wash painting. Ink wash painting is a technique that traditionally uses black ink and water to create different shades that make form, depth, and shadow. The technique originated in China nearly 1400 years ago and has been practiced for centuries in many East Asian cultures like Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. We're going to look at traditional practice as well as other techniques like you'll find in watercolor painting. To help get you started, we are offering you a free ink wash painting pick-me-up kit available while supplies last. The pick-me-up kit includes heavy watercolor paper, calligraphy ink, a calligraphy brush, and a paint palette. Before you start painting, you will also need to prepare a clear, safe area to paint. The black ink will stain, so be sure to gently squeeze the bottle, keep it sealed when not in use, and be careful not to splash or spill. To help, I recommend laying down old newspapers. Keep paper towels or an old cloth handy. And of course, you will need water to paint. Once you have your materials and you're ready to begin, pour just a little bit of water onto your palette. Then squeeze just a tiny amount of ink into one of the bowls. Make sure your brush is soft by saturating it with water. You can use the empty areas of the palette to mix water and ink into darker or lighter shades. High ink density makes dark lines. More saturation with water makes lighter lines. Before you start painting, it's a good idea to practice with your brush. A brush dipped directly into ink will make a very dark line. Pushing down on the brush or using the sides of the brush will make wider lines. As the brush becomes less saturated, the ink wash fades and can leave traces. Many artists use this effect to the benefit of their work. A highly saturated brush will leave pools of ink and water on the paper. You can use your brush to push the pool around and wash the paper with more color. This is a good way to practice shading. Try adding more ink to the gradient to make the wash darker. In traditional Japanese ink wash painting called sumie, the idea is to capture the spirit of the subject in as few brush strokes as possible. Every brush stroke has intent and needless details are eliminated. Try practicing your brush strokes by painting bamboo leaves. Place the tip of your brush on the paper and gently press down as you flick the brush forward. Sumie painting also embraces a lack of symmetry and abundant white space. In this way, you become more in harmony with the work, capturing the essence of the subject and providing a dynamic way for you to use your mind to fill in the space, creating balance between the art and the viewer.
In this example, you may notice that I only charge the brush with ink and water once while painting the leaves. A little ink will go a long way, but it takes a lot of practice to know just how much ink and water you need on the brush. Once the ink touches the paper, there is no going back, so there's no room for error. Now I saturate the brush with a little more water, not too wet, and I paint the bamboo stems by gently pressing down and dragging the brush up the paper, lifting occasionally to create the joints. Then I dip into the ink once more to add darker shade to give just a little more depth and detail and draw the branches connecting the leaves. By saturating the brush to fade the tone, you can also add depth by creating background. You can also apply the philosophies of Sumie to other works of art, making just a few strokes to capture the essence of the subject. Think of something you enjoy and want to capture in art be it a plant, a landscape, or even an animal. Ultimately though, you can use your different techniques to create art in your own way that you enjoy. You can practice sumie, or you can even use your brush like you would a pen or other style of draw while you're painting. Maybe you like adding lots of little details to your work. It's your art and you can paint it the way you want. Shade like you would with watercolor. Or if you even want to get more creative, you can experiment and try new things. But remember, the ink does stain, so be careful with any splashing and make sure you give your work plenty of time to dry before moving it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video and I hope you enjoy painting. If you want to learn more about ink painting technique and the rich history and culture surrounding ink wash painting, you can find lots of books at the Farmer County Public Libraries. And remember, check back with us every Wednesday afternoon for fun new teen programs. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at SCPL Teens for fun event information, contests, giveaways, and more.